Hi there and welcome to a video from Boodle Woodle or Astro Castor as other people know me. Today um, I wanted to show you all the setup that I'm currently using with my EQ5 Skywatcher mount and my uh, Skywatcher 200p telescope. Now for all of you out there who are on a budget like I am and you would like to have the ability to have a go-to system and guiding and all the other good things then hopefully this video will be a little bit helpful to you so first of all uh, my setup uh, I've got my laptop here uh, and then next to that uh, I'll just take you through what the, the equipment that I've got first so that you have an idea so first of all the EQ5 mount itself um, for any of you that have got an EQ5 mount you'll be familiar with it of course but on the EQ5 mount there are a set of gears that you can get when you buy the dual axis kit they look like this the black one is for the declination axis and this one here which has a sort of silvery bit on it there that one is for the right ascension so when you buy yourself a dual axis kit you will get these gears um, when you buy the EQ5 mount just on its own you won't have these gears you need these gears and the dual axis kit to um, track and uh, to maneuver the telescope so if you can get hold of a pair of these motors second hand all well and good if not you will have to buy the dual axis kit but it's worth investing in that so the dual axis kit gives you the gears um, and then on top of that I've got my 200p and then in the in the uh, eyepiece there sorry it might be a little bit harder for you to see that one Let me see if I can yeah anyway you'll just have to take my word for it in there I've got a Canon 350d camera um, which you can buy a Canon 350d and you can modify it and take out the little red filter that blocks hydrogen alpha wavelengths and uh, when you've done that it will give you uh, much better photographs of there we go let's bring it down you can see it there so there's my little Canon 350D and that just attaches into the telescope via a T adapter which are readily available online so that's the Canon 350D the cables for it I have your standard cable uh, which you get when you buy the Canon camera and um, from astronomy.net I, I, I bought this uh, other cable which will enable me to use software on my computer to take the shots and to control um, all the photographs and the imaging that processing that I'm going to do now the interesting bit is that if you want to convert your telescope to do guiding and also to have a, as a go-to system there's several ways you can go about that I mean of course you can buy the more expensive upgrades and uh, do it like that but I found a rather um, cheaper way of doing it and um, I think it's a better way of doing it to a larger degree so let me take you over here and show you what I'm doing um, there's a chap called Tom Carpenter you'll find him on the astronomy shed forums and he has uh, built this little box it's called the Astro EQ um, and you can buy you can buy them from Tom all you need to do is go onto the astronomy shed uh, forum and you'll find Tom under TC world and get in touch with him and order yourself one of these Astro EQs uh, they're a little box that controls the gears that I was talking about uh, on your EQ5 mount but the really nifty thing about this little box is it doesn't just control the gears it also hooks up with the software on your laptop and by hooking all that up together you can now uh, turn your EQ5 mount into a fully operated go-to system which is really good because when you're trying to find stuff 
that's hard to find um, this makes it easy well I say easy there's a little bit of a learning curve with learning the software and, and all of that but if you've got this far and you're willing to do this then I don't see any reason why you can't carry on and follow it so what's happening here is the Astro EQ has two ST4 cables one going to the right ascension motor and one going to the declination motor and then you have a little 12 volt power adapter and a USB cable which attaches into your laptop the other two cables I've got over here are going to my camera and controlling my camera so once you've got your Astro EQ and your gears then we can go over to the laptop now this is uh, this is the cool stuff when you go onto your laptop you're going to need to download the ASCOM drivers uh, for the EQ mod project software which is free open source software and it's absolutely brilliant so go and do that and then you'll need to download the uh, star chart called Cartes du Curl I think I've pronounced that right in French um, and that will operate with EQ mod the star chart and Astro EQ to control your gears on your mount and give you full go-to system so I've got it set up on my laptop at the moment I know this is only being done from a phone so it's probably not going to be that great a video but at least it'll get you started and when it's all set up you um, connect to your telescope by going up here to the little telescope icon uh, I don't know if you can see that let's, uh, let's just bring that down a little bit Right. up here there's three little icons a telescope a ridicule that looks like a target and another one that looks like a telescope with little stars on it one is your control panel one is for sinking and one is for slewing so what you do is you press the little control panel one and up it'll come and yeah. using EQ mod you go to driver selection and you select your EQ mod telescope and then you simply go down here and you use the connect button and connect when you press that what will happen is uh, EQ mod will start up nearly there just give it a bit of time there it is uh, so we can now close down the other box and bring up EQ mod now if I bring that up to its full page this is what EQ mod looks like for those of you that have never used it yes it can be a bit of a steep learning curve but once it's all connected to this setup it really is good so I do thoroughly recommend getting it and using it so what we do now we've brought up um, EQ mod the first thing you'll need to do is to have your telescope um, polar aligned um, if you don't know how to polar align then this, this is too advanced for you <laughs> to go back but do a basic polar alignment on your scope and then if you go on to the EQ mod website find out how to set your scope to the home position and then set that all up so that's like your starting point if you were what I like to do is just mark with tape on my um, telescope where the home position is and it's easy to just put it back into the home position so starting at the home position we go back to EQ mod and uh, what I like to do is I like to go to the park and unpark section and go in here and I just like to reset both of those by pressing the reset and set button and that will mark the parked position of the scope I then press in the park status area park to home position park. Um, and I've got it set up so the voice files are connected to the command so a little voice file tells you that it's parked and unparked okay so now the scope is parked we'll just uh, minimize EQ mod and go back to uh, the star chart now with this what we can do now is zoom out a little bit uh, uh, go to 310 please you'll have to excuse my piece my laptop is a little bit slow so we choose a bright star I'm going to choose um, choose a star in Cassiopeia and this is what we're going to slew to so now we've chose the star we're going to go up here and we're going to choose the slew button 
and it won't slew until you unpark your scope so it will say no I'm not going to do that so click off and then go back to EQ mod unpark your scope Unparked. and then go back to the star chart now you've unparked your scope there we go and then press the slew button slewing to target and it'll slew to the target now if I uh, put that view into the full view you'll be able to see your telescope moving from its home position and slewing to the target so if I go up here to telescope and track telescope it will zoom in on my telescope as it tracks to its next position so I'm going to just zoom in on that and there you can see my little reticle there as the telescope is moving so how fast does Astro EQ with the uh, with the HEQ uh, with the EQ5 mount um, slew not terribly fast if I come over here and show you the gears moving on the on the mount they're not they're not moving at an incredible speed but you can see the gears moving around and the telescope is now moving into position slewing to the target now when it gets to the target um, it will say slew complete and stop but that doesn't mean that you're actually aligned on your target yet because when you look through your eyepiece it may just be a little bit off so when it's stopped you need to go back to um, the EQ mod set up here and using the northwest east south nudge buttons nudge your uh, telescope until you've got the star that you're using to align with perfectly in the middle of your eyepiece or your camera and then when you have done that you can go back to your star chart and then you go up here and you simply click on this little uh, sync button and what that will do is it will put in the alignment point section in EQ mod a uh, an alignment point now you can go on to the EQ mod website and go on to uh, Chris's excellent video tutorials and find out more about that but basically you're setting up you're basically telling it um, you know where it is in the sky and how to align it correctly so when you've done that a couple of times with a couple of stars you should be good to go then and ready to just align to um, your next target and uh, this you know doing it this way has cost me um, 90 pound it cost me 90 pound for the Astro EQ box and the software is all free to use uh, so you know you, <laughs> you haven't really got anything to lose it's it is a learning curve setting it all up um, so but I could certainly uh, if any of you get stuck doing that um, and drop me a message on my um, on my uh, blog astrocasto.blogspot.com I could help you with that but if you've got an EQ5 mount there we are it's slewed now and it's stopped um, now the only thing I would have to do now is um, you can see here if I zoom in on where it's it's actually stopped it's a little bit off from the main star that I wanted to put it on but I'll I'll put it on there um, and click on the target which was the center on this object here right so I've centered on the Alpha Cassiopeia star there it won't be exactly on as I said what you'll need to do is to use EQ mods uh, slew controls there to just get the star dead center and then when it is you can press this button which is the sync button so let's imagine I've done that I would simply just press the sync button Please confirm the telescope is pointed at Alpha Cas. Say yes, and it will actually then move your target back to where the star is that it's pointing at. Now I haven't actually got it on the correct star. Now there it is, and then it will move and sync to it. So that's basics. You know, that's that's how you do it. And uh, I've been using it now for about a month, and it's really really good. Uh, 
the things that make this system good are obviously the free open software, um, the ASCOM drivers and uh, EQ mod, which are really, really good, and also the free open software, the Carthus de Curl uh, star chart. But combine that with, like I say, this little box from Tom, the Astro EQ. Bought this for £90 and it is really really good it's well made it's solid and it does the job beautifully uh, but not only that you can actually use it to uh, have a guiding system set up on your telescope with mine what i'm going to do uh, i did it last year as well is to just have a simple uh, modified webcam and you download the software phd or push here dummy and plug in your webcam and then you also uh, can then select your uh, telescope because it's completely compatible with the ASCOM drivers and then you can guide with your telescope as well um, so all in all the little Astro EQ box that Tom has made is a really elegant solution to the problem that many people have got who've got the EQ5 mount um, when they want to do guiding so there we go I hope that's been helpful to you I know it's been a bit of a long uh, waffle there to explain some of that but at least it'll give you an idea of where to start and like I said if you do want to go this route get in touch with Tom and um, get yourself an Astro EQ, EQ uh, mount controller really really good value for money and it does the job beautifully okay so I hope you've enjoyed that and uh, wishing you clear skies all the best and see you in the next tutorial